Hey everybody, welcome back to Mega Man 4. I know we only had one part so far, but this is part 2, Mega Man 4, I'm Flaming Kong. Last time we did Toad Man, Bright Man, Pharaoh Man, and then Ring Man. Today we're gonna do Dust Man, Skull Man, Dive Man, Drill Man, in that order. If you got it all, that is. So I believe almost half of the Robot Masters in this game start with D. Dive. Dust, drill. That's three of the eight. So it's almost half, is what I said. Anyway, this is actually one of my least favorite levels of the game. And there's many reasons why. There's just so many cheap stuff that you're gonna find, trust me. Uh, like, this enemy is a really good example. But it's actually not the most annoying part, surprisingly. I know, that's must mean that there's even worse things, and yeah, there actually is. If I'm thinking of the right level, that is. I don't know, I've played a lot of Mega Man in my days. It's a lie. It's uh, definitely a lie. So this part's pretty interesting, because you'd think these blocks would disappear when they actually really don't. So like, for a Mega Man game, this platforming part is really easy, which I'm happy about. Because otherwise, I would probably not be able to do very well, you know. So thank you, Mega Man 4. Yeah, this game doesn't have too many hard platforming parts. Oh, I didn't need that, I shouldn't have grabbed it. See, if you don't grab what Eddie gives you, that's the name of him, his name's Eddie. If you don't grab what he gives you, then you actually, if you like go out of the screen and then come back, you can actually get it again. So not many people know about that, but I do. So... This level's a little tricky. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of really annoying parts in this level. Which you'll see soon enough. Which is pretty much right here. This is the hardest part of the level. Hopefully I can do it right. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, so that's the hardest part of the level. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just did that first try. That is crazy. I'm not joking when I say that's the hardest part. That's what I meant by the annoying, the other annoying part. That was it. So we should be good for the rest of the level. Yay. I'm happy. I'm actually doing good in Mega Man. We're only three minutes in and I'm already at Dustman. And he's weak to the ring. Boomerang. So let's go. Bring it. Yay, I did it. Dustman is really easy. Like the actual Robot Master VD. His stage, not so much, but I did really well on it, so I'm happy. Um, the rest of the Roma Robot Masters are quite easy, so I'm not too worried from here on out, which is good. Time to go to Skull Man, which makes sense, because dust and skull, like bones are weak to dust, like vacuum, I guess. It makes sense. Believe me, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> but this is actually considered to be the air stage of this game. There really isn't a real air stage in this game, but the closest to it is this, this stage. So... I guess just deal with it, I guess? Like, there wasn't really a real air stage in Mega Man 3 either. That'd be sta Snake Man, which really isn't much of an air stage as well. 
but don't worry. Um, Air Stages will return. I know Mega Man 6. Maybe Mega Man 5 has one? I don't really remember. Oh, yeah, I think they do. Okay. We're good. So these guys just fall. They actually don't die. I forgot. Oops. <laughs> Batman. Wow, we're getting a lot of lives. Hmm. Good. Lives equals good. Okay. There was an enemy there. Just disappeared, I guess. Yep. Oh, no, he's there. Oh, I should slot slid. I almost said slided. That's not grammar. Oh, E-Tank. That's good. Is that our first E-Tank? Yeah, it totally is. Unless we did get... I don't think we got any before. So, in this part of the level, you can choose whether or not here to go up or down. It does not matter which way you go, trust me. But we're just gonna go up for the fun of it. And I don't know why. I I don't know which way is easier and which way is harder. Probably equal amount of difficulty. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Honestly, don't care. If you go over this way, you can get an E tank. But since I got an E tank from Eddie, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. I think we're actually almost done with this level. Pretty close. Gotta be careful here. Don't want to die. That'd be bad. Okay. Yep, we're good. Like, like I said before, the rest of these levels are quite easy. I might be able to see how Drill Man could give you sort of trouble, but at the same time, he's still quite easy as well. Now, Skull Man weapon is... The... the Skull Shield? There it is. I didn't know if he was gonna use it or not. He used it once for like a brief second. And that's actually what weapon you're gonna get. You're gonna get the Skull Shield. Which is very not good. <laughs> it is not good. It's not a good shield compared to the leaf shield and the other shields that I don't... I, I usually don't use shields at all. Well, skull barrier, whatever. And this next matchup really doesn't make sense. Like, I don't get how skull... Like, a skull uh, barrier can... Killed, like, is weak against, is strong against dive, water, I don't know. Just deal with it. So Dive Man is our next Robot Master anyway. Because who cares? Okay. So this is where Rush Submarine could come in handy. You... See, this game's really nice about those, like... <laughs> Uh, invincibility points. Like, if you get hit, you, like, you don't necessarily are gonna get hit by the spikes. Like, if you're still in your invincibility frames, how come they're, how come they're allowed to go on the spikes? That's not fair. Can't really kill those claw things. They're kind of just there. Anyway, we got a big whale here. Ow. Oh, I could have grabbed that ladder. Wait, I'm already... I'm already past... Okay, no, I'm not. Okay. I was kind of getting worried there. Dude, another E-Tank! Eddie, you were really awesome. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie's pretty cool. Really? 
another one just spawned like right after I killed it. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> it's just like, yep, we're still here. Hi. Okay. Got a little manta ray guy there. Pretty cool stuff. Stop. So after the second whale, we're going to be running into this hole down here. And yeah, go down here. Um, dodge all the spikes. It's not too hard to dodge them since water is uh, a lot easier to fall, like you're not falling as fast. Anyway, when you go down there, you're going to get the wire item, which is the last like hidden collectible. So we're good. From here on out, we are good. And for some reason, they spawn you back here, so you're gonna have to fight the second whale again, which is funny, but stupid at the same time. I mean, it's not like the whale's hard. The whale's very easy. So, I'm not, like, angry that I have to fight him again. It's just, I found it very confusing on why they did that. Is he pulling me in? Felt like gravity was pushing me towards him. Don't fall in that hole again. Thanks. Yeah, this level's also really easy. You shouldn't have too much trouble with it. You could. You could have trouble. Even though I said you shouldn't. Just because I say you shouldn't have trouble with the level doesn't mean necessarily you're going to have no trouble with it. It's definitely not what it means. So. Oh gosh. I think we're at the end. Almost. Really. And time for dive man. We are really going through these fast, aren't we? I thought he was white. I was wrong. Oh crap. I died. That's the first time I died on a robot master. That sucks. Now I'm gonna have to actually fight him without skull barrier because I'm out of skull barrier. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay. This is not the easiest robot master in the game, that's for sure. Oh my god. What the heck? I'm holding the button in. Can you let me attack you? You just won't get off me. I cannot beat this stupid piece of crap. He's just laying right on me the whole time. Like, how am I supposed to shoot him if he's right on me? Now I understand why the, the barrier is effective against him, because he's always on you. It's so stupid. Get the heck off me. I do have an E-Tank, but I really don't want to use it on Dive Man. I actually have two E-Tanks. One more hit. There we go. He's really not that hard, actually. To be completely honest, he was not hard at all, but... I just had trouble with him, I guess. <sighs> I think that gives us Rush Jet. We still haven't gotten Rush Jet. Nope. Wow. They just really don't want to give us Rush Jet, apparently. Whatever. I guess Drillman gives Ru Rush Jet, then. Who knows? I don't even remember this guy's stage at all. 
Yeah, we still don't have it. It's stupid. Oh my god. Really? I wonder why I don't remember the stage. Like, I really don't. Like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Sorry, Drill Man. You're just not very, uh, remembered, I guess, to me. Oh. Boy. That was an orange bat. Another orange bat. Oh my gosh. Weapons everywhere. Oh god, that was a terrible idea. Why'd I do that? That was stupid. Am I at the halfway point? Totally am not. Okay, let's just do the whole stage again then. Sounds good to me. Yay. <laughs> Sarcasm at its finest. That's okay. Otherwise, this episode would be pretty short anyway. Short. I can actually look on the map to see. Checkpoint. I was really close then. That angers me. Okay, I'll stop. Actually, I wasn't really that close. Never mind. I'm pr pretty sure you have to use Rush Jet there. Maybe? I have no idea. Um... Oh, really? <laughs> Whatever. Don't care anymore about that life, because it looks like it's just gonna make me lose lives. Wow, how do I not remember this? This looks pretty difficult, actually. And eh, that wasn't too bad. It looked a lot harder than it actually was. Hmm. There we go. Good job, Mega Man. I believed in you the whole time. You know what? We didn't even use Rush Marine in that Dive Man stage, and I said I was going to. Who needs Rush Marine? Actually, I never used the wire before. So I'm kind of curious to see what it does. It's not, it's not working. Guess curiosity killed the cat. Oh my god. Okay, well, no wonder I never used it. Looks like it doesn't do anything. No, it probably does, I just don't know how to use it. They're just... I'm, I'm, get, I'm just getting hit by nothing now. It's pretty crazy stuff. Oh god, that was close. What the heck is happening? I don't even know what's to do. What? Okay. That's so dumb. I don't even know what just happened. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm cool and just say that I know what I'm doing. That seems to work for me. Maybe. That thing sucks. So you just shoot the rock before it hits the ground. Or you get hit by like random invisible stuff. That also works. Apparently. I don't know anymore. Oh, it looks like that's working pretty well. Yay! So I just shoot the rock now. Sounds like a plan. I didn't shoot it that time. Time for the last robot master. Yay. Dive missile. Dive missile. <laughs> what?
How did that... First of all, that's barely doing any damage. There we go. Oh, Drill Man's easy. He really is. That was an easy fight. Good job, me. Hmm. You got Drill Bomb. Really? Drill Bomb? And Rush Jet Adapter. Finally. I heard he's not very useful in this game anyway, so... Like, you, in Mega Man 3, you can move, like, all four directions. I'm pretty sure he just goes in a straight path from where you land this time. And next time, we're gonna go see Dr. Kowasak, the Russian doctor guy. So, yeah. <laughs> Bye.